So yeah, the big 12 teams that you faced that you've lost to combined, just two losses, uh, is that a positive way to look at it? How do you keep positive mentality with your record now? You know, we, to stay positive, we just really have to look forward and realize the season's not over yet. You know, every year it seems like big 12 teams are always taking out each other, you know what I mean? So I feel like we push through it, look on to the next game, try to win these next five games, and put us in pretty good position. How hard is it to win on the road in the Big 12? Very. Yeah. Very. It's, it's not easy at all, you know. The 12th man, you know, the crowd gets into it. You know, they're feeling good doing their home field and everything. You know, different, you know, weather you know, situations. You know, they like to play hard as Big 12. You know, once conference play, everybody steps up their game. So it's just a lot of factors. It's not easy. You say how hard is it to win at home in the Big 12? Also, <laughs> also <laughs> as hard, you know. And you got the fans on your side, which is a plus and everything, but regardless where you play, the Big 12 is not an easy conference to just you know, lay back on. You guys are preparing to face potentially two quarterbacks this week. What have you seen out of each of those guys, and how much has it changed for you guys when you're not really sure which one's going to be in or what style they're going to be playing? Um, I feel like... You know, we go into this game plan just like any other, really. You know, we have to make them one-dimensional, you know, stop the run. If we stop the run, make them have to pass, and it makes it a lot easier for us to, you know, cover. Do you like mobile quarterbacks, or would you rather have somebody that's that's more of a pocket passer? Uh, I feel like more of a pocket passer would be more ideal just because they don't have that dual threat and it's not that much of a threat you know you can't you don't have to strictly focus on the quarterback the whole time you know just in case if he wants to run or not so definitely if I had a preference I would say fuck him. You guys have had some success against the the dual threat guys, though. I mean, you you've been able to limit them and, and kind of slow them down in what they're able to do. When when it comes to Sam's, I mean, what have you seen out of out of him and, and his ability? to Because he's leading their team in rushing. Uh, he, he's very athletic. You know, um, I feel. Like because he is a quarterback and he is that dual threat, it's like they have an extra blocker. You know what I mean? Instead of you know a quarterback handing off the ball and then the quarterback's out of the play, you know there's an extra man to you know get around and an extra gap to fill. So I mean he's very athletic. He makes plays. You know I feel like if we just contain him, then we'll be doing pretty well.